Okay, I was planning to do a video on this for quite a while and I actually did it by accident. And this one's going to be relatively quick. It's all about watt meters. And I've been saying for a long time, many years, watt meters are relative. They are not really accurate or not very accurate at all. And um, I was going to show that one day, but I kind of did it by accident. And I was playing with this um, up and coming toy. I got a SBE LA1 amp. I kind of like it. It's a uh, six final, six LQ6 um, tetrode mode. Um, very kind of rare to see a tetrode mode um, ham amp, but it is. But anyway, um, this one's not on this at all. This is just on watts. It's relative. So um, I'm on a Lincoln 2 radio um, on a dummy load, not broadcasting. So I got the, the power is adjustable on that. Uh, or variable and I got it set to exactly 5 watts on that watt meter so if that's accurate I'm gonna do something and I'm not gonna touch the watts you know coming out of that thing I'm just gonna do something so if watt meters are accurate and I got it set to exactly 5 watts right why is it doing 12 watts now right if watt meters are accurate and I'm not changing the watts what's happening here is it really jumping from 5 to 12 watts when I'm doing what I'm doing right um, now let's show you what I'm what was happening this relay was sticking a little bit and I was cleaning it and playing with it and um, um, this amp is off caps are drained It's unplugged and turned off so and uh, has bleeders in it and caps are drained so don't do this at home but anyway I was playing with it after all that and because um, my watts were going in but they weren't going out and I cleaned the relay this is the antenna relay here and was pushing it by my finger and I finally got it to work but uh, of course when I push it in this is on the input side of that radio my watts jumped up right if watt meters are accurate why is it jumping up from five to 12 when I'm pushing in that relay if watts are accurate um, and this is the output side of that amp you see how many watts I'm losing um, I got five going into the amp on that watt meter and then I got you know a little over three so I'm losing you know about 20 percent 25 um, percent um, of my watts just from going through this amp but this amp got a lot going on but anyway it's not about the amp on this it's about my watts so I push in the relay so it's opening that circuit so my watts going out of zero you know I got this pushed in so the watts can't go out they're going in still but they're going into a super high SWR now a open circuit so my SWR jumped up high right but am I really doing more watts mm, nah not really um, what is happening is watt meters are basically um, calibrated volt meters and they're calibrated to 50 ohms so on a dead key if your match is perfectly 50 ohms and 50 ohms only a watt meter can be accurate and only on dead key um, they are calibrated for that for dead key and only 50 ohms when you modulate it uh, no more accurate um, a normal watt meter even a bird even a digital bird which I have quite a few of um, are not accurate when you're modulating the carrier or your key down or modulation or swing or whatever word you want to call it all you guys that don't like the swing word you know fully modulated carrier I don't know whatever whatever else you want to say for a fully modulated AM signal um, the watt meter is no longer accurate um, at all except for peak a peak um, meter can read peak of a fully modulated uh, swinging radio it'll read the peak what it's going to on the max it is so the same thing on a smoke on a scope excuse me um, but anyway a watt meter is not accurate on a fully modulated or even a half modulated um, AM signal when you throw the modulation in there the watt meter don't know what to do don't know what to read it's trying to average that out and you got a 
complicated uh, AM signal that's going up and down with sidebands in there and all that. It's, it's just basically uh, uh, saying, ah, we think it's around here. And different watt meters, you know, Bird, Drake, Heathkit, you know, when you're modulating, they're going to be all over the place because they are not accurate. Only peak is accurate on a swing and it will read uh, peak watts accurately. And uh, a dead key, a watt meter, if it's a good watt meter and all that, it's accurate only if your match is perfect. Once you go uh, with the high match or higher match or even lower, it's going to read less a lot of them because um, it's calibrated for a 50 ohm using ohms law. And when your ohms ain't right, you know, your match ain't right, your impedance ain't right, the watt meter is not going to be right. Um, I was working on a 8877 amp and I had a um, elbow because it made it you know easier for me to hook my jumpers and the um the watts you know went crazy from 1500 watt dead key i was pinning pinning the 2k in the corner i'm like that ain't right unkeyed right quick and my elbow had shorted and it showed me or opened and it showed me a ton of watts that it wasn't supposed to um watt meters are only right if your impotence or your ohms is right um and one last thing you know people talking about you know peak and all this other stuff if um and i say this and this is going to cause some controversy but i'm going to try to prove it right quick um watt meters look at dead key the same way they look at dc they look at dead key as the same way they look at dc they don't look at it as rf and I know that sounds crazy, it sounds stupid. Um, and I said this watt meter here is calibrated to a bird, right? And I'm gonna show something right quick. We're backed up to our five watts. And if this watt meter, you know, we go from average to peak, it should jump up uh, about 0 0.4, 0 0.3, um, um, about 40%, 30%, right? Because 1.4, you know, times the um, the um, the um, DC is how you get AC. But barely changes because I got a little bit of ripple in there. But again, if this thing, you know, really red peak and this is calibrated to a bird, um, my watts would jump up a lot when I go from peak and average on a dead key. Uh, watt meters... Um, read dead key as DC and they read swing as AC no it doesn't make any sense and a lot of people are gonna have a hard time with that one but that's a fact all right that's it for this one have at it bye